How's it going guys? It's Poetry Set and welcome back to another episode of the Dutch Return campaign. Uh, again, called that because it is a Dutch campaign uh, and also because it is uh, to mark my return from Spain. Doesn't really have to do anything with Dutch returning anywhere or returning anything, but um, it is the Dutch Return campaign. Um, so, last episode we finished up our war. Uh, or was, yeah, that was that one. That was last episode. Um, pretty good. It's only 1450. It's been like six years. We already have Antwerpen. Um, and Denmark is an ally. We lost Austria because they're a little wanker. Uh, but in any case, we're doing all right, I would say. Um, hopefully, so we would like to have some other allies actually. And it is, it could be possible to have France as an ally. So I think we should work on that. Uh, cause if we can't have, I would have loved to have you know, Austria over France, but if we can't have one, we'll go for the other. And normally you don't get both. Um, although I think this was one of the times when we could have gotten both. No, never mind. We definitely couldn't have. <laughs> I think last time, the, the run before this, it was a, a possibility. Yeah, we can build improvements. Uh, that's okay though. I am instead going to build some barks. Yeah, there you go. All right, cool. Build five barks. Uh, it'll help with the trade monies and whatnot. We should have a, yeah, like a good, like a quarter of the whole uh, trade node at this point. It's pretty darn good. Um, once the autonomy comes down a little more even. I, I think I am actually going to, the unrest is so high. Why not? Why not, dog? It's, like it literally is not really gonna matter that much. Um, Brabantian separatists, how many is it gonna be? 11K. It's a little bit concerning, actually. It's quite a few, but we do have uh, another force summit now. I'm gonna get uh, another cav, actually. And we should do this, just in case we lose the first battle. We also need to get rid of these guys. Yeah, they're gonna be unloyal now, but it's better than, you know, having a freaking uh, coup or whatever. 10 years until we can attack you. You're not attackable anymore, really. Not feasibly. Brittany and East Frisia. You might be. Gelray could be. Oh, oh, we still had subsidies? That's hilarious. I didn't realize that. We should still be earning money. Yeah, we're still gonna be earning decent enough money, actually. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, Papal relations, proper fleet is one that I, I would like to do, so let's try that. Mm-hmm. And, meanwhile, from East Frisia, really? Why do you want to ally me all of a sudden? East Frisia, Pomerania, and Gelra. Gelra? 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 No, I have no idea. Um, Pomerania... No, because I'm going to be attacking you. Sorry. Probably. But I'm probably going to be attacking Gelray, so yeah, I don't know about that. Plus, East Frisia is actually uh, a pretty good little pretty good little uh, province as well. One of the good things about forming the Netherlands is that if we decide to go this way and we're an empire little title, we can get all this land for, you know, it'll be a cultural union, so we never have to convert any of it. Um, so we can, even if we don't want to for roleplay reasons, which we might not want to, kind of like... I was kind of saying that, like we might just stick in the, the low countries. I think the main thing is, I'm for the roleplay reasons, I'm gonna probably not move into France at all, beyond maybe like Picardy. Um, that's the idea, I mean, who knows if we'll even get that far. Uh, but, in any case, um, yeah, that's the idea, is that we're gonna try to roleplay it a little bit and not go super crazy in Europe. I mostly wanna go colonial and, and stuff beyond that. Uh, but we might try to take over like the Lubeck node a little bit uh, up to like here, at least with Hamburg and, and Lubeck itself. Um, and that sucks. Uh, and we like in the past, I've wanted, I've always wanted to try to do a uh, a game where you, as the Netherlands, where you invade England and then just have like a you know the the glorious revolution reenacted. <laughs> um, but I. Uh, I don't know. I don't think we're going to do that. I'm not going to worry about it, at least uh, right now. Maybe eventually. But yeah, I kind of just want to have a strong central Netherlands that then we use as a colonial base. There you go.
Any day now. to protect her as well. Still not enough for our mission, of course. We need like at least like five more, four more, we'll see. I might as well keep going though, you know? It's it's basically the no downside to it. Huh. Can't believe these rebels haven't popped yet. Oh yeah, I did have the they still haven't popped, good. Uh, which means the cab will get in in time. We're behind on uh, admin tech. Doesn't surprise me. Huh. France and England are at war. Who would have uh, expected? It's actually not too far off. Okay, we won. Good. Still took uh, quite a bit of losses, but, you know, that's okay. You gotta do what you gotta do. Gotta do what you gotta do. Um... That's a lot of army maintenance. Oh, hold on. Turn that off. That'll help. I don't wanna... No, I don't wanna take a debt. Take a loan. Darn it. That's okay. Should, should be able to pay it off, honestly. There we go. I mean, money's not doing so hot, but whatever. Huh. Gel ray, we do have the claim now. There we go. The thing about the Netherlands is that early on, you don't have a whole lot of options being sort of wedged away in the corner of Europe. You don't have a ton of options. Uh, the Seas Tile doesn't extend just far enough to reach Friesland, but not to re reach East Frisia, which always sucks because uh, they're a good, normally a good target early on, but uh, since they're not in the Empire and whatnot. But uh, yeah. Okay, who else can we be affording to improve relations with? I guess with uh, Munster, they're our ally, might as well. Um, I'm really still pissed at Austria. I don't get how they lost trust with me. It's kind of stupid. All right, I'm gonna take this. It's gonna be a while till we can embrace it, I'm pretty sure. Go Longbow. Truce with England has ended, yeah. I don't think they're going to be declaring on anyone anytime soon. They're getting beat up by France, getting beat up, beat, beat up by rebels. Only ally is Portugal. I mean, heck, if I can get a bigger navy than them, which might help with France beating up their navy, I could possibly foresee myself declaring on them. As long as I can beat them in the navy. Uh, well, but Portugal too. Hmm, yeah, probably not. But still, Calais is a good province. It's one that we should be looking out for. It's in our culture group, so it is good for that reason. We'll see. Let's build two more, and hopefully that'll actually get us to 75. 75% of 31 divided by uh, 4. 30, yeah, let's just do 30 divided by 4, which is like... I, I'm, my, my brain is broken. Uh, it's, I think we should be fine, so. Oh, wait, did Flanders, they're not free, so, huh, interesting. That's fine. It's kind of weird. Okay, well, in any case. Um, but this is the part where you kind of, you know, just get to sit back and relax and stuff. Man, I tell you one thing, like, I've kind of mentioned this a few times, but my, it feels weird recording and, like, I kind of am having to, uh, <laughs> to work harder to, to get myself thinking in the, the commentary mindset. Uh, and it's kind of interesting, because when I was, since I was in Spain for, like, so long, it, it felt, especially, I mean, I've only been back, this is my third full day back, um, it has felt weird being in a place that's English speaking, you know, walking around and, and like knowing what everyone is saying and also like you know knowing everyone else knows what i'm saying if i'm speaking in english it's kind of weird because like while in spain there's a good chunk of like people especially younger people that speak um a good bit of english 
um, it's not always the case. Like, there's a, like, it's the majority, the grand majority of people don't speak, uh, hardly any English. Um, although they speak, a lot of people speak a little bit. Um, so it's, uh, so it's like you have, you're pretty much like you need to use Spanish to get around. And you should anyways, in my opinion. But, um, so, with that being said, I, uh, I have been, so, like, I, uh, I started getting to the point where it's, like, I would instinctively be, like, using, uh, Spanish to talk to people. Like, I wasn't using English to address someone. I would, I would always just use Spanish first. So then here, I almost had to, like, catch myself when I was, like, in the airport to make sure I didn't, <laughs> didn't, like, use, uh, Scotland? No, that's us, Holland. I was, like, let's say, the flags look kind of similar. Um, so I kind of got confused. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I... So it was kind of like, but it's, uh, so because of that, because I was speaking so much Spanish in Spain, like, I think my English got progressively worse, because I was, like, I was basically, like, trying to force myself to think in Spanish when I could, uh, so with that being said, it's like, I kind of think my English actually did get worse, although not considerably so, but, like, because I just wasn't using it as much, like, I wasn't speaking in English at nearly as much as I was before, um, which is kind of weird, you know? It's kind of kind of interesting. I mean, of course, it's my first language still. It's never going to change, but... But, uh... But it's certainly, like... Like, I started to change the way I spoke. Especially when I was in Spain talking to people that were Spanish. Like, who didn't speak um, English or spoke a... Or, like, didn't speak a ton of English, but still spoke it. Um, I would, like, change my, my lexicon, my vocabulary bit, I think, subconsciously. Uh, just because, like, I, I didn't want to, like, say words that are just, like, ridiculous words that are more confusing. Like, you know, like, uh, I don't know, just, you know, some words are, uh, just kind of weird and, um, and not as widely known. And so normally, whereas I might use that with some, like, a native English speaker, I probably was, like, checking myself a little bit and, uh, and, like, changing up my grammar, maybe. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, and so because of that, then I, I feel like <laughs> then when I would go and talk to people in English, I would be like sounding weird to myself and to, to them possibly. So it's kind of a, a weird situation. Man, England is just getting wrecked by these rebels. I love it. Oh my God, they lost their ally of Portugal. They lost Portugal. Hold on. Where is England? Even on the lid. Did I pass them? They're not. They're not on the first page. What? No. Where are? Where are they? Come on. All right. No. 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 Just. <laughs> no. Just go by. Go by country. Holy crap. They have 4,000 troops. That's actually insane. They have 32 ships. 17 of which are transports. I think we should kill them. I'm going to wait till France pieces out to make sure they don't take that. But if they don't, I'm going to destroy them. I'm going to destroy these English wankers. Um, so because of that mission, we did get... Yeah, naval maintenance modifier and shipbuilding time, which makes me think shipbuilding time is down. Why don't we go ahead and build a, you know, an early carrick or whatever? Might as well. I think that's fine. Jeez, legitimacy is so bad. It's so much easier. It's like so. It's like impossible to get legitimacy legitimacy up through natural means. It's pretty much only like you wait till your person dies and the next person takes over. Um, I guess... No, I don't really care about that. I'd rather do Prestige. Yeah, oh my god, man. English is just... England is just getting wrecked. Do I have ten favors with you? Six. Huh. Huh could be feasible to get them in the war with England. Could be. 
Huh. All right, what about uh, estates? Anything going on with you guys? Not really. Again, East Frisia. I would love to, but I'm probably going to try to kill you. Unless I could vassalize you? I don't know. And that's probably not going to happen. You're not in the Empire, so it is feasible. But yeah, economic base just makes it impossible. France is actually in England now. English Pretender Rebels. The thing is, they probably are going to flip and get the Pretender Rebels enforced. Um, and the Yorks are going to get kicked off the throne. Uh, and once that happens, the problem is that they are then going to have the army from those guys. But they still will have those uh, heretics or whatever. So, uh, so it's not... It could be possible that they would still be having these issues. Also, let's see. Is their, their navy still the same? Navy. Where'd they go? They were up at the top, right? We're actually the fifth largest navy in the world. Wow. Did they lose their navy? I would. It, it wouldn't be unheard of that they would get... Well, wait, because Aragon... They're fighting Aragon, right? House of Cabot. House Cabot? Huh. Uh, wait, so... Because they were at war with France and Aragon. So those navies combined could have destroyed theirs. Now, is that actually what happened? Oh my god, they have zero navy. This is amazing. We have to we have to do this. Once France uh, pieces out, I am like going to declare on England. Well, maybe before that. Maybe we should just declare right now. No, we shouldn't. Ooh, hold on. Because Calais is a pretty good little province to have. Um, and it's good to get it before Burgundy or, or France gets it, you know? That's the main thing. Even. I'm going to wait till France be still. I'm also going to build another early Carrick. Because, I, I mean, it's pretty useful to have, even though they're costly. Um, it's good to have, like, two or three at least to flush out your, uh, your navies a good bit. Be the backbone of a good navy. And they still do have these rebels to deal with. I don't think... they Even if they built, like, 20 transports, they still wouldn't even have the army really to support it. Well, I guess they might, but... Still, I, I think they couldn't build the 20 transports without us being able to, like, stop them first. I, I think we should just go for it as soon as the, the war ends. With France. Did our army force them to go up at all? No. It's okay. Come on, France, just just get out of the war. Like I realize that you're wanting to show your powers off, you know. But still, I wonder they might like. No, there's no cores there that they could release. I was gonna say maybe France would release it as a different nation or whatever, but I mean that would still work for us. But but seriously, France, you know you could like you could totally win. Uh, you could totally do this right now. Here's the thing: I don't actually want to ally them because then they might get mad when I take no you know they, like they might call me in well no they couldn't it's they declared it it's been 30 30 uh, months or whatever yeah that's off the lines cool we're allied with France now that's actually a really big help especially because Austria you know ditched us I think this is basically like a prerequisite to surviving in this modern era no, <laughs> uh, maybe not but that's a really good event just, just peace out already. Aragon even has troops over there. Oh man, England is getting so beat up. Come on now, France. I want my turn to beat it. I want my turn to beat England up. Thirty-five. 
Like, you, you have all the war score you need, I'm pretty sure. So why aren't you piecing out? It's the, the ultimate question now, isn't it? Oh, there it is! Okay. Oh my god, they, they took everything! Jeez, that's like... Holy cow, France, do you... You get no... You have no aggressive expansion? What? That's crazy. I guess they had cores on everything. Yeah, okay, never mind. That makes perfect sense. Um, still, though, that's really... Uh, wow. France took everything. France is, like, quite quite scary now. But, I mean, they're our ally, though, so it's good. Um, we just need to keep them our ally until we own everything we need, and then we'll, you know, say screw them. But, man, is that great for us. England is getting so beat up. They lost all their mainland holdings, except for Calais, which is the one that we need. Which I really like. So, get wrecked, dog. And, uh... Let's uh, go ahead and say, I'm going to keep you guys there, actually. And, yeah, we'll get you guys to, to go there. And this should be perfectly fine. They're going to build an army, but if they don't have a navy, it doesn't matter. I'm going to wait, because we should be able to embrace the, the Renaissance pretty soon. I'm actually going to raise some more taxes, because we're going to be at war for a while, because we're going to have to like wait them out for part of it, you know. It's just an, 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 an inevitability. There we go. Um. Yeah. Yee. Yeah. Then we got this ship coming out. There you go. Whatever. Okay. No one should be able to join them. Like it's not. There's not an even number of great powers for that either. Um, we could call in Munster. I don't think we need to. We could in a little bit if the if, if somehow England manages to make a comeback, but. Yeah, like it looks like it'll be pretty, pretty simple, you know. All right, so what we should do now is, um, I think what we want to do is like split the army here in half, and then also blockade the rest of their country. Yeah, they're still doing those rebels too. It's great. I love it. I love it. I'm gonna risk it. But this is a this is a pretty decent start to a campaign. Uh, right now, I think we're doing all right. Did they? Has it always been that Roussillon has been a province here? Because I, I thought it like didn't used to be like that. But maybe I'm going maybe I'm crazy. Whatever. Um, that's uh, that's interesting. I I actually thought that it wasn't, but but it makes sense that it would be because that's how it was in real life. That uh, Aragon actually owned it until eventually France came in and uh, took it over. <laughs> All right, well, we should end this episode here, though. So thank you guys for watching. Please go and leave a like and subscribe for more. This is going pretty well. We might be able... It looks like we're going to be able to steal a province off the top of England here, which is pretty nice. So thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.